Yeah, we're at the Muscle Festival in uh, Port Arlington. Very cheap muscle. <laughs> Lions Club. And that's a beautiful sea. It's a chocolate fountain. Yeah. Oh, a lovely dog. Papa is buying some, well we are at the Muscle Festival so we have to buy some, it's a lovely day and Raymond is hoeing into the Muscle. Put our in the Muscle Festival and that's staying there. My name is Shane Dalia, we have a little restaurant in Melbourne called Maha um, and a newly asked one of my aunties, hello on you Jane, come see. Similar effect from cooking in a pot. Um, the, the benefit of the time is being soaked and cooked. You can just use tin ones if you like, but to be honest, I think the fresh ones are a lot better. It doesn't take long to actually cook them. Yes, you do have to soak them the day before, but it's not really a big deal. So I'm going to slip that off a little bit. And the first and this is going to add a lot of crunch to the dish, and food's about extra. Okay? If everything just tasted like puree, you're in a nursing home way too early. You know, you need crunch, you need pop, you need texture, you need freshness, you need something fried, you need something salty, something sweet. All those things need to come to play. And in any good dish, no matter how simple it is, it should possess at least three different textures or flavors. All right? Um, some Lebanese seven spice. Now, there is some in the tomato base, but I think a little bit extra, because that's been cooked for about an hour and a half. I think a little bit of fresh spice always awakens the spice that you put in whatever else you're adding. So, bit of that in there. I don't know the people in the front can probably smell some of the spice. Yeah, smell all right? <laughs> Great. A little bit of our chili paste. And I'm just gonna add a bit of that, because it's quite intense. You can always add more, but you can never take it out. No matter how much sugar you add to it. Add some of our mugrabiya, or our couscous, which has been three-quarter cooked. And this is, for me, this is the hero of the dish. Because this is just going to absorb every ounce of flavour that comes out of the mussels. You now you always pick them up and take them out. Because when you pour them in, you end up with all the water and crap that's in the bottom of the bowl inside the stew. So pick it up, take it out, because otherwise you end up with all of that shit in there. Which is not what you want. Okay. Um, I don't think you really need to. There's enough water, the water in there and really Adding white wine to mussels is beautiful, but it's not really the style of cooking that we do at Maha. It's more French or Spanish, but not really Middle Eastern. You don't have to Putting some mint. If you have to roughly chop herbs and just slice the herb, great. But when you see those rock star chefs with the big hat and all that, and they sit there and they just pound on the board, you know, and smash the crap out of the herb until there's nothing but carcass of herb left, and then that white chopping board they had is now green, um, all that does is show you that all the flavour, the oils, and all the goodness is now in the board, and there's nothing left here. So that's the finished product.
waiting for our train to come. So it's a bus gonna to take us back home. Uh -huh. We are waiting for our tram, our bus, <laughs> to take us off. <laughs> we are having an end. Port Arlington Festival. A white, a white muscle is a lady muscle, we were told. We're walking along the pier and pasting muscles. 